Hey, what's going on, guys? This is KNasty3090 here with another Madden 17 Ultimate Team video. Today, I'm giving you guys another way how you can make a lot of coins really, really, really easily. Like, this way you can make a couple hundred thousand coins relatively easily. You have to have coins, though, for this way to make coins. Other times I've told you guys how to make coins, it's really just taking small things, combining them, and making a little bit more. But this one, you're actually going to need a good amount of coins to do it. Now the first thing you guys need to do, and if you haven't done it already, you need to start doing this. This is like one thing that you, if you haven't done yet, you can't do it yet. Um, it's the solo challenges for the milestones. Now today on Sunday, when I'm recording this on a Sunday, you only get the elite badges for the milestones. Um, I recommend doing those if you haven't done them already. The elite badges though, you get one a day for whichever uh, particular uh, string of challenges that you have. So those, usually the gold ones are hard to get. But what you actually want to do is do the milestone sets. And you're thinking, well, you don't get coins for it. It just adds a chem. But it, the values of these cards, some of them go up a lot. Uh, so first off, I've only done three so far. I'm going to be working on more. Um, but basically, I did not want to tell you guys. It looked like this would work. I didn't want to tell you about this method until I knew it worked. Um, because in theory, I thought, oh, that makes sense. It should work. And then I'm trying it out. I'm like, okay, it does. So that's why I didn't want to give you guys a faulty method. But this has definitely worked for me. I made about 150,000 coins from three players. Um, from uh, Milestone with Sean McCoy, AJ Green. AJ Green, I made about 80k off him alone. Um, and Reggie Nelson. I'm working on Joe Hayden. That's just for my own team. But you can do with all these. Obviously, the gold card to the lower elite. The margin is not as great. But I'm going to show you guys exactly why these are going up for more. So if we go to the auction house real quick, um, what we're going to do is do AJ Green first. So let's just go to Elite. And then I'll show you guys the change, the difference in price. And all you have to do is just complete the set. Um, you can then sell the new card with the difference in price, and boom. So AJ Green, they maybe oh I didn't put a dot after the J. AJ Green, here we go. All right, so we don't care about his base elite. We only care about the team of the week. So here you go, team of the week. You can buy. The base one for 132,000 coins. Let's just say you buy that one. I got mine for about 120. You do you if you have all the milestone solos done, like you have all the collectibles, you take the collectibles, you put it into the card. Literally 30 seconds later, post your new one for 170,000 coins because this one's at 175. This is the one that has a dual chem. Once you add it to the milestone, in case you didn't know, you add to another chemistry. So this card has two chemistries. I don't think it's worth the 40 extra thousand coins that you would make doing it this time. But then also, no, if this one doesn't sell in 23 minutes, the next is 190. You may put yours for like 185, 188. This one doesn't sell, and then now yours is the cheapest. But um, just keep this in mind, guys. Check these out. It's so easy. And like I said, just every day when you, if you don't, even if you're not playing by that long, half hour tops, get those solos done. As you can see, if you look at my binder real quick. Um, I've not, like I said, I've done three of those, but you see how many I've done, and I try to do as many of those as I can. If they're, like, taking a long time, I don't do them. Well, here's milestones right here. So I have 39. Now I have 24 gold and 15 elite. So, like, the elite ones are really easy to get. So on the Sundays, if you need a particular one, maybe, but the rest of it, you just need the gold versions. And that's where you kind of come into a problem where, like, you can't keep going. You can't do all of them at once because you need so many badges. But, like I said, guys... Try those guys out. I'll show you some other ones that look like they have a good change of price. Now, on Sundays, they do release new ones out. Um, real quick thing about this milestone, Terrence Williams. You can't sell the base version, but if you do the milestone, you can then sell that card. If you want 20 k I think it's going for around 20 k maybe 25 k Might go down in price now. This is earlier in the day. Uh, free coins. If you're not using the card, free coins. You couldn't sell it before. Now you can sell it. Um... Chris Harris, like that one, you can probably get a really good return on investment if you had that card already. Um, I'll show you real quick the LaShawn McCoy and the Reggie Nelson. And like I said, if you pack any of these cards, you might as well do the milestone and then sell. Except like, so maybe the gold ones aren't really that necessary, but look how many cards you can do. Just keep doing those solos. You get the collectibles. You do the collectibles. I mean, and the collectibles into the cards. You get the better version of the card, which goes for more. So we just looked at AJ Green. Like I said, I got, about, I got a really good deal on mine. I sold my... I think I got it for 115, 120. I sold my other one. I sold it for like 200 flat, which is remarkable. Um, I didn't think someone would buy it. That was the first one I did, and I was like, "Holy cow, this actually just worked." So let's go to Shady, Lashawn McCoy. Um, so here you go. They only have the base version now. They don't have the energy. I think he has Energizer with it or Battle Ready. One of those two. 
So buy this for 145. Do the set. Put it up for 200. If you sell it for 200, uh, let's see. Take away 10%. That's 180. That means you made 35,000 coins. I literally just adding badges to a card and then reselling the card 30 seconds later if you've done the solos. So, um, like I said, there are some barriers of entry to do this one. You can't have like 5,000 coins and do it. You need to have a couple hundred thousand coins to start off with. But if you're taking my advice in prior videos and you have those coins, you can then do this. As long as you do those solos, you can do this. Now, what was another one we can look at? Um, let's see. Chris Harris Jr. Let's see how that one's coming along. Like I said, this one was brand new, and they don't even have any of the new ones up. So, like I said, that one is, I'm not sure how exactly that one's going to, uh, how that one's going to turn out, because I have yet to see any of those sell. And check my head, too, if you feel like if you're not sure it's a good price or not, go to myhead.com and check that out, and they can tell you the last price sold. Here you go. So, with the Navarro Bowmans, we don't care about the base elite version. So, 135 for the one with one cam. You do the collection... It's legitimately almost a hundred thousand more coins. Not sure if it's selling for it, but on the auction house, that's the difference. I highly recommend if you have these collectibles, do do the card, do the collectibles, try to sell it. Let's say you can't sell it, you buy it at one thirty-five, and then you can't sell it for two twenty. Let's say you can only sell it for one sixty. Even if you, at the end of the day, you 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 still come out positive like ten k almost after tax. And if you sell it for two hundred, you come out easy coins, easy coins. So this is one thing, guys, I highly recommend you do. If you, you, like I said, you need a lot of coins of this. You need to have done these, collect, these, um, the solo challenges to get the badges. But once you get the badges, you can then do these sets and you can make bank. Um, another player, which this one, now not all of these do work. Like, uh, the prices are not great. Can't remember if Emmett has two M's and two S's. He does. So Emmett Smith, real quick. Actually, this one's actually gone up. It's not too bad. 106,000 by the base version. Put the new one up for 150. Take away tax 15%. So let's say one. That'd be about 150 from 15%. That makes about 135. So if I bought it from 106, 135, it makes about 31,000 coins. And legitimately, it takes five minutes. It may take a little bit of time for the card to sell, but to do the set it takes no time. So this is what I want you guys to do. Do every day of the week. If you have 30 minutes, do the solos. They're really easy, really quick. Most of them are milestones. Some of them can take five minutes. Some of them like are full game, but they're all easy. Get those done. Just build them up. Make sure you have some coins. Do these challenge. I mean, do these collections. Get hundreds. I'm not exaggerating. You see this, and these cards sell hundreds of thousands of coins. I hope this helped you guys out. If it did, please share the video. Please like the video. Please subscribe. I do do a lot of videos like this. I. I'm, this is, I'm not sure how long this will last because I don't know how many people know to just... It feels like it's really obvious, but no one's apparently doing it. Um, but if you are, yeah, here you go. There's some free coins for you boys. Hope you enjoyed it. Talk to you all later. Peace.